Hey guys, I'm preparing this door card to be installed in Golfmark 7 and as can you see this one has a nicer trim with ambience with atmosphere LEDs over here, something over here, something over here. Additionally I'm planning to install this uh, small warning light instead of the uh, red uh, reflect, uh, reflective one. I'm going to install some LEDs over here and I'm thinking about adding small LED over here or over here just to illuminate this in this uh, door compartment and cool thing about um, about this is uh, if you power it with 12 volts I have a wire connected over here already if you power it as you should it's all in white but if you reverse the polarity just for the LED strip it will be red let me just show you what I mean I have this I have this connected over here black wire is uh, connected to the ground and the white wire is connected to the 12 volt line for the ambient illumination for this strip so when I connect 12 volts to it it will be uh, it will um, uh, lit in white and if I switch wires between the ground and the 12 volts it will be red let me just show you. It's a little bit dark. Okay, it's white. And right now it's red. And white again. Most likely this is the type of LED that's used over there. Okay, so let's twist this with this. Maybe let's just hold it so you can see it. Right now it's red. And when I switch wires, we will see that it, oh my God. When I switch wires, I'm trying to do this in one take, so you know that there's no funny business going on between between the scenes. And now it's white. And here's the welcome light. It will go over here. It should click. Okay. And let's check if it works. This is how it looks. I'm not rushing this installation because I want to do it one time and I want it to be perfect. So right now I'm uh, I'm researching some things and I know that the uh, door control module is very similar to the one in Audi A38V, which is on the same platform as Gold Mark 7 and the Seat Leon and Skoda Octavia Mark 3. And I know that in uh, Audi there's uh, there's a illumination for the speaker, and I believe that the door control module in my Golf might be ready for this additional uh, lightning uh, circuit. So I'm going to make uh, as much modification to this uh, door panel before I install it, just to be prepared for the additional light over here if I want to use it, of course. And as I said, for the illumination over here and additional light over here, which was never an option in golf. You will you had only the red uh, reflective plastic over here, never, never a light in Mark Seven. And the front uh, front door card is pretty simple, but here's the here's the rear one. And in the rear, you still have this uh, chrome mm, chrome trim, but there's no illumination at all. Not here, not here, not here. Of course, there's nothing here. And even if you want to place a light over here, you will have to modify it because there's a plastic over here, which prevents you from fitting the light that I've just showed you on the front door card. So I'm going to need to cut out 
a piece of plastic over here just to fit it and of course add small light over here for the mm, compartment illumination as well as something over here to add the door handle illumination and I believe I will be able to add an LED over here for the uh, for the uh, handle, handle illumination but the most imp important part this this strip I don't know if I will be able to do anything with it I would have to remove this whole trim and it's it's uh, it's glued to the to the panel then disassemble it remove the chrome part make a one millimeter uh, gap over here fit a I don't know plexiglass or something like that or poly polycarbonate over here find an LED that's white and matches the color of the of the front panel and then wire it <laughs> and since in rear doors there are no control modules in Golf Mark 7 I will have to wire it to the front door to control the rear door as well so that's uh, that's a pretty intense job and we will see if if uh, I have time for this and if it's even possible without damaging it altogether. Okay, so if you want to uh, check the details of this installation and uh, parts that I'm using, check the description below this video. This is of, co this is of course part one of this uh, modification. I'm just preparing all the parts needed for this and uh, soon I will be hopefully publishing uh, part two where I'm going to finally install something in the car. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you for watching and see you again.